everyone, hey everyone's okay. Um, someone actually suggested I do a review on my top products of all time, which is a really cool idea because obviously people show their top products all the time like, hey, this is my favourite product, but a review obviously the negatives and greatness of it, so I thought it was a really cool tag to do. Um, so we'll come closer so you can see. So anyway, I'm going to just quickly run through what I have. Um, if you're wondering what I'm wearing on my face, um, I've done a little outfit of the day, so you can I'll put that up as well. So um, I'm going to do number one. Is this foundation? It's the Photo Ready by Revlon, and the, I'm going to do pros and then cons. The pros, it's a medium coverage. So if you're looking for a medium coverage, then this is perfect. Um, it's lightweight. It has a pump. Because loads of foundations don't have pumps, which drives me up the wall. Um, nice coverage, it really smooths your skin out. It gives you that dewy look, which is great. Now the negatives. The negatives is that it does have shimmers. Because obviously to get that dewy look, you need the shimmers. If you can see. But I have it on now. Um, and people on here have been complaining about the shimmers. It's literally the finest shimmers ever. And you can only notice it in the light, it's not like you look at your face and you're like, oh, you've got glitter all over your face, it's not like that, it's just really subtle shimmers. Um, also, it's not a full coverage, so if you're looking for a full coverage, then I would suggest get the um, the Colour Stay from Revlon. And the also the negative, I think the Colour Stay matches my skin better than these. These, they've changed all the colours and names, which I think that's a bit stupid. <laughs> So the colours, the photo ready was just perfect for me, photo ready, the colour stay. But this is just a lot, um, yeah it's it's not a nice colour. So that is that one. The second one is this, it's from MAC and it's the studio finish in NW20. Um, MAC concealers are just great. Um, I've tried a ton of drugstores and this is just the perfect concealer. Can see. I hope you like my nails. It's my attempt at a French manicure. It didn't go that well. I'm not very good at nails. <laughs> but yeah, this is just a really nice as you can see, it's not touch pan. I've had this since um December and it's now August nearly. So that's about eight, nine months I've had it and I use it every day so so really it's lasted so well and just a cute it's just really cute I love the little packaging so yeah obviously the negatives it has high SPF so if you take pictures and it could leave you that white mark under your eye you're okay if you're more of a fair but if you have a darker skin tone then this is gonna look completely white on you um, also it's about £12 which can be a bit expensive um, especially if you're on the budget so um, if you if you want the dupe to this, then I would suggest the flawless concealer by Mimi Me. It's about two ninety nine, and it works really well. So this is a good little concealer. Okay, next is this bronzer which I bang on about like crazy. It's by seventeen by seventeen instant glow in medium, and as you can see, I've completely hit pan now. I use this every day. Um, it's a nice sort of golden colour. Um, it's not orange, which most drugstores are orange. It probably looks orange on camera, but it's like a nice golden brown. It gives it a really nice glow, as you can see, it's called instant glow. Um, and it's just a really nice bronzer. It's really great for contouring. Um, okay, the negatives don't have a mirror I think it'll just look cute if it's got a little mirror there so you can just put your bronzer on so that's my negative um another negative is um it just contains shimmer so if you're looking for a matte bronzer this is not for you um and and the other negative is this I'm in medium which is the darkest they do and I'm fair and it works perfect for me so again if you have a darker skin tone then this would not work for you so that's a really nice and then finally this brush 
it's the Mac 109 and pros you just don't you only need to take one brush with you you don't need a whole brush roll of brushes for your face and uh -uh, this is just perfect I originally bought this for um, foundation because Fafina used to completely rave about this like in the good old days um, but um, yeah but I don't like it for foundation I find it cakey to put your foundation on um, I don't know if it's how I'm doing it but I just prefer using a foundation brush on my fingers um, I use it because obviously you can use it for foundation use it for contour blush and then highlight and it's just perfect and I use it to buff in my face powder which gives it a flawless look if you like buff it in um, obviously the negative it sheds like crazy especially if you're using liquids with it like you do this and then you get like hair there it's just not pretty so be careful it sheds I've washed it so many times and it still sheds so I don't know why but I know a lot of people know this sheds so there you go um also it's 20 pounds which is pretty pricey but people say to me um what do you recommend to get like a high-end brush this is the brush I do recommend if I had to sort of get rid of all my MAC brushes and get one brush it would be this brush because it just gives you the most flawless look and then like when you're traveling and stuff you need to take one brush you don't need to take like a whole brush roll so I'm rabbiting okay so this is my top four products <laughs> they're all for your face <laughs> um, I don't really do much eye makeup anymore just, especially for summer I love it in the winter but I don't know I've just got a bit on now so that's it for my top products. I hope you enjoy my mixture of high end and drugstore sort of. So I hope everyone's okay and I will see you later. I tag everyone in this little tag and I'll see everyone later. Bye.